Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'm continuing with my final video in my series about collagen peptide supplements and whether the data supports some of the health claims it makes. The first video was about collagen peptides and skin health. The second video was about collagen peptides and joint pain, while the third was about improving muscle mass and preventing bone loss. If you missed any of them, be sure to go back and watch them. But today we're going to end with whether collagen peptides can improve heart health. The data on this one is really lacking, and I think it's an overreach to make this claim. The one study I found in humans was using collagen tripeptides for reduction of atherosclerosis in healthy adults. The study was out of Japan and included 30 adults that were given eight grams of collagen tripeptides twice a day with breakfast and dinner and followed for six months. There was a slight increase in the HDL cholesterol or the good cholesterol, which is good, but there was also a slight increase in the LDL and triglycerides, which isn't good and isn't helpful. They also used some other markers that may indicate overall cardiovascular improvement, but even these changes were really small. This study just helped me to see that there may be a benefit to collagen tripeptides in improving HDL cholesterol, but a larger study that follows people for a longer period of time is definitely needed before the claim can be made that collagen peptides improve heart health. There are also claims that collagen peptides can improve gut health, help with improving mood and decreasing anxiety, as well as weight loss, but there's really not enough data to support any of these other claims. So in summary, I think it could be worthwhile to take fish or pig collagen peptides to improve your skin. I also think taking collagen peptides for joint pain could be helpful too, realizing that their results only show benefit over a period of time of six months or less, and the benefits start to wane when using it for longer than that time. I wasn't convinced yet about using collagen peptides to improve muscle mass. More studies are needed for longer periods of time. But the data on bone loss prevention and collagen peptides is really interesting. So any woman that's at risk for osteoporosis or osteopenia, I would encourage them to consider taking collagen peptides. And lastly, the claims about improving heart health just don't have the data yet. The most difficult thing will be to figure out if the collagen that's sold in stores is the collagen that's been tested in these studies. A company that seems to come up again and again was Jolita. They have several collagen peptide products such as Fortibone, Body Balance and Fortigel that can be found in collagen supplements sold in the US. Any product that has these peptides in them, I would assume would be a reputable and reliable product. But realize that none of these products are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, and they can be really pricey if you continue them for a long period of time. And of course, I want to remind everyone that before starting any supplement, please consult with your own doctor. Thanks for joining me.